Well, I'm the business website director in the Singapore office for Healy Consultants. Uh, with me this afternoon is Nogiza Kalyabeva. She's a client relationship officer working out of our Dubai office. Good afternoon, Nogiza. Hi, good afternoon, Mark. How are you today? I am good, thank you. How about you? Yes, all good, thank you, Nagisa. I believe that we are speaking this afternoon about a recent engagement you completed for a client in the British Virgin Islands, the BVI. Can you give us uh, a brief summary about the engagement, what sort of business the client was involved in, and what were some of the objectives that they were looking for us to achieve? I, yeah, sure. Uh, so one of our clients uh, would like to register a company in BVI. So there were two shareholders, one from UK and uh, another shareholder from USA. Uh, okay. The client, yeah. So the client's uh, plan business activity was NFT social media marketplace. Okay. Uh, NFTs are um, online collectible and digital art, like um, from artwork and this kind of collectibles. Sure. Yeah, so the engagement hasn't take, uh, taken a long time and it has been completed very quickly. Uh, usually it takes approximately one week, but uh, this time uh, due to delay the documents from the client side, it took about three weeks. And would you say, I believe, Nogiza, you, you've been only with our firm for, for two months, so this will be your first BVI engagement. But um, do you feel that the, 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 the COVID situation globally um, impacted the timelines? You said there that, that, that it, it went fairly quickly. Do you think that it could have been even more quick uh, had, had, um, had COVID not been around? Yes, I think so. Uh, but... Um... Uh, it's from one side the COVID situation and the second, secondly the clients uh, they were in two different countries so mm -hmm. it's it took time yeah to complete the forms and uh, all the company documents. Yeah, what? Why did the client choose the BVI or, or rather why why did you feel that you wanted to advise them to incorporate in the BVI uh, for this particular engagement, uh, Nogiza? Yeah, so um, the jurisdiction uh, where activities took a place, it was uh, London. And uh, so that's why the client has chosen this jurisdiction. So okay. it's very near, yeah. Okay. Um, and what would you say would be some of the challenges that were involved in, in setting up the business in the BVI? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I think I think most of us probably feel that um, offshore uh, jurisdictions like the BVI are fairly quick and simple to set up, as you mentioned earlier. But what were some of the challenges you, you faced? You said there a few minutes ago that that, that um, you had it took time to get the documents from the client. Were there any other any other challenges that we we needed to take care of? Um, actually, no. Uh, the um, one of the challenges it was that uh, we were waiting for our clients to sign our in agreements and right. uh, constitution documents. So it. It took a while since the clients were in different countries and very busy, uh, but we remind them, uh, we'll help them and uh, like uh, to provide all the sign and prepare documents on time. Mm. So we we're, complete everything, yeah. Sure. Were you also asked to open a bank account for the company or was this not part of the engagement? Uh, no, the client, uh, he didn't, uh, he didn't ask for the bank account. Uh, this engagement was only for the income in corporation, sorry. No problem. Well, it, so it sounds like it was fairly straightforward for you. Um, given that it was one of your first engagements with our firm, Nogiza, um, what were the highlights and takeaways for you? What, what, what have you learned from the engagement? Um, um, to complete this engagement, uh, for sure, uh, we need a lot of information like uh, collecting, analyzing, checking all the information and documents uh, that's uh, important for BVI registry. 
So I realized that teamwork is very important as my colleague supports me on this time. They contact and registered um, all the necessary information from our client and um, in my absence, uh, it was like uh, it was holidays, so I didn't work two days. Mm -hmm. And uh, our compliance team also was so very helpful and they assist uh, due diligence of document documents, um, which was really uh, like uh, helpful and speeding up our work. I'm very grateful for all the team. Very good. Sounds like a success all around. Thank you for your time, Nagisa. I look forward to speaking with you in the coming weeks and months about other engagements you're working on. And, and thank you for your time today. Uh, thank you, Mark. It was nice to speaking with you too. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye.